What's going on, everybody? I am back. I am back. I'm back. So, uh, America, we like to follow. Um, we like to follow. Uh, you know, some famous families out there, and I, I just want to make a video on um, a sad subject today with the Hollywood uh, family. Um, you know, a lot of people follow the Kardashians and stuff. I like to follow the the. Um, you know, follow uh, the Presleys, uh, Elvis's family. Um, I'm a big fan of his, their family um, and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, uh, Benjamin has, you know, passed away. Um, he, uh, I, uh, supposedly he took his life. Uh, it's a really sad uh, situation. Uh, 2020 has been a really depressing year um and stuff like that and uh, i just want to if i was there with the family right now I, I would just say i'm very sorry about your loss and um you guys have been through so much in the past and you guys came out of it elegant beautiful and you guys fight for the stuff it was should have been yours in the first place um uh, you know with Elvis and stuff like that so I know uh, Elvis would be very proud of you know how his house is taken care of and how everything is now and uh, I know Benjamin's up there with uh, his grandfather and they're having a hell of a talk right now <laughs> but um, but I, I know uh, Elvis had, you know the, the one thing he had is his heart that was his uh, downside and <laughs> of him he loved everybody and he knew two sides of it he knew he knew the feeling of being rich and he knew of being poor and he loved to help people and i know he's helping his grandson right now um up there and he's forcing his grandson to sing a couple religious songs right now probably <laughs> but uh very sorry about the loss uh i just wish um his grandson had the opportunity of the lifetime um 27 years old network two million dollars um you know, they showed the house of where he passed away in. I guess supposedly he had a smaller house with a pool and the cars and all, and you know, everything else. Um, you have, I look up to a, a person and uh, Arnold, of course, a uh, very immigrant who comes to America with pretty much nothing and only he's only good at one thing <laughs> working out and posing, <laughs> bodybuilding. So, you know, I think one of his downsides is having sex with the cleaning lady. Come on, man. But uh, one positive came out of it. His son and um, his other son. And his his other kids don't like to work out. They don't like to do everything. But I know Arnold loves his kids and daughters and other sons uh, with Maria and stuff. You know, it's a very close bond and all that other stuff. But he has one son. He's, you know, um, you know he's taken care of you know, forever, and he's manned up and, and pretty much did everything uh, for the kid to have a good life. He graduated from Pepperdine. Is his son ever going to outdo his father? No. We have the top bodybuilders who are 45 pounds or 50 pounds heavier than Arnold back in the day, and they can't measure up to all the stuff he's accomplished, you know. Um, but you got to run your own race in this life. You have to run your own race. You can't keep up with your neighbor. Um, you know, we have a scripture in the Bible. Um, you can believe in it, and, or you don't have to believe in it. Do what you got to do. But it really helps me, um, you know, with the story I've heard is King David and King Saul. King Saul tried to keep up with David. Um, but, you know... You know, uh, David's coming up in rank. Um, he took down the giant. You know, if it was not for him, all the Israelites would be slaves with the Philistines. And a lot of people are getting, you know, a lot of people are paying attention to him, not not King Saul. You know, you, uh, and that was the demise of King Saul. You try to keep up with David. Uh, the king was, he lost his two sons in battle, and then uh, he's trying to, the king at the time is trying to, he's like in the middle of the war, thinking he is a, a legendary, uh, you know, legendary uh, soldier just like David, and eventually King Saul kills himself in, in the battle because he can't keep up with the war, you know, and 
if you're trying to keep up with someone else in the, in the neighborhood or someone you know on the internet, you're going to fail. You got to run your race. It's a reason why you're that tall, that short. You know, it's a reason. Um, it doesn't matter how high you get up on the mountain. It matters how, uh, you know, it really matters of the journey of climbing that mountain. Um, you know, some people get higher than others, you know, but don't feel bad. Eventually you have to come off the mountain passing away or, you know, maybe sports wise, you can't play or any kind of really contact sport forever. So, uh, you know, eventually you'll never, for, but you'll never forget the journey of climbing mountain. But Benjamin had everything going for him. Um, everything. He had a head up on everybody. He could have had a, you know, the one thing I, I wish he did in his life, you know, at 27 years old, you know, they have this Elvis impersonators or Tribbers, uh, you know, impersonators, you know, they have a competition. Who's the best one? Um, you know, maybe go down to Memphis, Tennessee, enter the competition. Just that would shock the world. And it's a big thing. It's just not a bunch of just impersonators. You got five people in the audience. It's like you got thousands there. You know, and just imagine, you know, Graceland, you know, keeping it all quiet because they work very closely with the Presley. They could have kept it quiet and have him come out and, you know, you know, um, um, I guess supposedly Benjamin tried to get a singing career going and stuff uh, didn't pan out. Um, but did you really, really try or did you just put your feet in and pull yourself right back out? You know, um is it uh, not Memphis, the Grand Three Opry, the Grand Three Opry, um, is it Tennessee, uh, not Memphis, Tennessee, uh, where the Grand Three Opry is in Tennessee. They rejected uh, Elvis. Elvis has got rejected from the Grand Three Opry the first time. And, uh, you know, and he was very upset, you know. I got rejected from, you know, fitness shows and stuff and uh just keep on going if one person says no keep on moving you got to head up on everybody and uh, but um i i really feel bad and i know you're doing okay now and uh you got you know i just have to say to the family and maybe lisa and the mom and stuff like that you know sometimes definitely for for them um they you know if the house is it, something's going on with the house you gotta let the professionals come in and fix what's ever wrong with the house right you gotta you know not everybody knows how to do plumbing not everybody knows how to do electricity hey, do electricity or put a house you know um you know fix a roof and stuff sometimes you just gotta hire the professionals and and lisa Pre um, presley I think her last name has changed, but you know, she's still a Presley. Come on here. But uh, I, the only best advice I can give you, darling, is now you have your son is taken care of with the professionals of this universe. And that's the only positive thing I could say to, to that family. You, uh, like I lost my best friend uh, from high school and stuff. He got very sick, very ill and didn't know what to do i didn't know what to do and you know he he took his life and uh it's very sad I miss him every single day i wish i could have did something more but uh end of the day i i, I kind of put myself into peace with it i said well at least at least the professionals are dealing with this now because we had no idea what to do in the situation and um he didn't have medical he didn't want to do medical you can't force someone to you know, if they don't want to do it, you know, I mean, you can only put them in a headlock and ship them to the hospital. You know, they got doors, they can run out, you know, so, um, but, um, very sad. Just Lisa, I just want to tell you, just let it, let the professionals deal with this right now. Um, and God himself is dealing with this. Um, and he's sitting down with your kid and, and, and he's helping him through it. And I know your grandfather, uh, Elvis, your dad is there and you know your dad <laughs> you know Elvis is sitting right next to him and he's vouching for his grandson and uh, I just wanted to tell you that I have a feeling that's happening right now and just go for the motions you guys went through so many tragedies so many controversies and you guys came out elegant beautiful in the end and got the stuff you deserve 
and I wish for the best for you guys. And I just want to put that out there because I don't think I, I've seen some stuff coming out with Benjamin, but it's not enough. We got it. It's okay to not be okay right now in 2020. You got a lot of successful people not doing really good, and this is a definitely a a example of this. Uh, you know, this year has not been good with the rich people, and ain't good with the poor people. So, and in between, it's all crap too. But you know. Um, be sad to be depressed for a second, but you got to pull yourself out of that pool and keep on grabbing that ball and running with it. And uh, I just wish Benjamin grabbed that ball and ran with it. Anything he wanted to do uh, to represent his grandfather, entertainment-wise, I mean, he could have did it. Uh, I know, I know the the company Graceland. They would love to have him do something. You know, like not i didn't have opportunity to see elvis and you know not uh you know some other people never had a chance but you know you look like a grandfather yet i know if you wanted to put your foot in this life and 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 you know entertainment wise is a very tough life too but you know nowadays um you know you can turn it up and turn it down what what level you want to take it to but i wish uh you had so much to offer this world and and um I'm sorry it got cut short with depression and stuff. My friend was sick, and I know, uh, I know Benjamin was having his issues. You know how he dressed and stuff. I'm not saying about his wardrobe, but you just look at the, the kid, and you know something was going on. But, um, but, uh, um, but, it's a song. It really helps me. You know, count your blessings, name them one by one. If things are going wrong, you know, if you're stuck in traffic, well, at least you have a car, you're stuck in traffic and hopefully it's running. Hopefully you're driving down the road and you have to take, uh, you know, take the risk of transportation, you know, with the buses and, 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 uh, trains and stuff. I mean, if you are on a train, at least you're not walking down the road, you know, at least you're more protected and you're going on the bus. And you're a lot more protected you know it, it doesn't really matter where you're at just focus on a couple of good things I, you can be accused of murder and at least you come out you know at least at least at least you'll look outside because you know prison at least has a window and say damn it's a nice day today you can always have that kind of mentality and i guarantee you, you're going to go farther with the mindset people want to take these drugs and fitness and of course this is more like a fitness channel but i want to put some, uh, you know, some uh, news updates on some things, but, you know, the strongest, the strongest supplement, the strongest drug out there is your mind. And, you know, if you really saw a body part, you need to the work on, man, I need to get more biceps. Oh, I need to get more shoulders. Two, three times a week, you just work that body part out, eat healthy, eat the right carbs, eat the right protein, and in, in two or three months, you're telling yourself in the mirror, you're going to fucking grow. You're going to grow. You're going to grow. You're, you're like talking to your arm or whatever body part you're looking at. You're growing, fucker. You're not, you're, you're growing. You know, it's just, that mindset will go into that muscle and it will grow. You know, I need more shoulders. And two or three weeks, you're, you're, uh, after your hard workout, you'll look on the internet to find out different other exercises to work out on of oh this is growing this is this is this body part's gonna raise you know get bigger on this side and that side and you need to work on that exercise but it's the mind is the strongest thing the the thing is you know um our bodies our minds are more stronger than our bodies and it's obvious with this situation with benjamin it's uh the mind's a lot more stronger than what you have, and, uh, you know, this is took to a really sad level, and I'm very sorry about it, and, and, uh, but I know you guys will get through it, and I know Graceland will have their, uh, their part with your son there, and, um, it'll accommodate this sadness, but you guys are awesome, I just want to get online to put a more a message out there, you know, it's, I've seen so many messages, you know, Benjamin did this, or, and they just show pictures and this and that. But just have a guy, if you want to know the truth, go talk to an asshole. Where is he? Oh, here I am. Oh, there we go. So um, just want to put a, a, po a little bit more positive direction out there. Run your race. Keep on kicking ass. And you guys take care. Bye.